What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am updating the Andes Visage or the Andes Flurry Poison build for you guys. We had to change a couple of things, but today the patch or the hot fix, I should say, has gone live where Andy's Visage is actually working properly. So when the Poison Nova spawns on the enemy, the damage actually hits them there as opposed to still originating from the character itself. So all that is fixed. So now we're able to bring you this updated guide. Now, again, I'm going to go over everything and just talk about the few changes that I made to the build, but I still think it's probably the best build to play overall. However, I will talk about because Andy's is fixed, I think this build with Andy's and then switching to Twisting Blades will be a very efficient speed farming build. So just keep that in mind when we're talking about playing this in a poison aspect. But for now, we're just going to update the current build. Maybe I'll bring an updated Poison Andy's Twisting Blades build for you guys. Let me know if you want to see that down in the comments below. So let's go over everything, gear, skills, Paragon board, and the changes that we've made. Real quick, we're just going to highlight everything. Let's go to the, the, the skill tree. Again, we got Puncture. This is going to be our main way not only to make enemies vulnerable, but how we trigger our Poison Nova to spawn from Andes. It has the highest lucky hit potential. We are currently at 57%, which is incredibly high for Puncture. I know we can get higher in Heart Seeker at 81 or Forceful Arrow, etc. Even Invigorating Strike, people have tried to do Blade Shift. But Puncture is just very, very good for this. Uh... Flurry, again, the only reason that we're actually taking this is to extend vulnerable to other uh, enemies as well as the attack speed bonus. This just really helps us get to our combo point max and just spam uh, punctures incredibly fast. Three points into stutter step to move faster. However, if you feel like you're taking too much damage, you can put it into sturdy. You shouldn't have to with the lifesteal of Andes, but if you wanted to make that change, feel free. Shadow Step is our only way to become un unstoppable. So we got Discipline Shadow Step to help uh, reset the cooldown, which is fantastic. One point into Dash for extra movement. One point in Concussive for uh, increased crit strike chance against knocking back or knocking down enemies, as well as three points into Trick Attacks for critically striking a day's enemies while they're knocked down, which is great. Caltrops, huge for the build. Increased crit strike chance against enemies inside your uh, Caltrops. Double it against enemies that are vulnerable. Um, now, against bosses like Lilith or Uber bosses, if you really want, you could swap this off and just do Methodical. It'll deal cold damage, which will apply chill, which will add more CC to stagger them faster. Uh, this currently scales up to 65% multiplicative, but you can get this much, much higher. Then, of course, we got three points into Agile for more dodge chance. Max out Dark Shroud into Subverting for even more move speed. This is our huge damage reduction right here uh, per Active Shadow. You need to try to get this to 10 as close as you can <clears throat> uh then we got three points into exploit as well as malice for the increased damage then shadow imbuement into blended on the explosions when you're speed farming this will just help make enemies vulnerable which will allow us to do even more damage we max out deadly venom for increased poison damage as well as one into debilitating toxins max out frigid finesse must have for even more damage and then we do one point into adrenaline rush and with haste for increased attack speed and move speed one point into intervention but to this is just to get to alchemist fortune non-physical damage you deal has a 15 percent chance uh increased lucky hit chance so this is when we're dealing poison damage just allows us to have a higher lucky hit and then we do have second wind every 100 you spend you get 50 percent increased lucky hit so it only takes us what is it set 100 so it only takes us four uh, cast of fury to get to this number so it, against like lilith or a boss you can really trigger that and it just helps it just helps trigger more novas and then of course we have close quarters combat for the increased um attack speed from both cutthroat and marksman but more importantly the increased damage against crowd control enemies which is fantastic let's go over to the gear we got combo points here for obvious reasons um, you could do intervention if you really wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. You'd rather just have the combo points to help trigger uh, the attack speed bonus. Into our gear. Gear has not changed, nor the powers, guys. So we got Andy's Visage. This is where all of our damage is going to originate from. This is what's really going to make the uh, build pop with the increased attack speed and lifesteal. We got Umbris for our increased uh, um, DR, right? And then we got uh, Concussive Strikes for when we daze, we deal more damage. 
We got Might for damage reduction while we're casting a basic, which is Puncture pretty much the whole time. We got Shared Misery to help um, against crowd control. This is mainly for speed farming. However, if you are just going to use this build to just kill bosses, then swap Shared Misery for, uh, was it Frozen Bite? Was it Frostbite? Frost, Frostbitten. Frostbitten. Uh, Frostbitten is really, really good. Um, you don't care about the grenade stuff, but you do do deal 25% increased crit strike damage against frozen or stun, which is nice. I mean, that, that that's just awesome, but um, you also can just swap that out for anything else. I mean, but Shared Misery is very good for speed farming. In our bow, we got uh, obviously Retribution for even more damage, and make sure on your bow that you are getting the crit on Chance for Punctured Projectiles to be cast twice. Very, very important on the build. In our daggers, we got Bursting Venom, so a chance for a pool to spawn, and then we can no longer... Our Poison Imbuement skill doesn't have a cooldown or a charge, but we don't need that. It's just for the pool, just to add more poison. Pestilence Points is huge here. Every third cast of uh, Puncture is Poison Imbued with 150% of its normal potency, which just allows us to apply even more poison to make uh, the damage just go insane. On our rings, we got Intercom for straight damage, and then we have Rapid for more attack speed. And then on our amulet, we got Noxious Ice. Chilled enemies poisoned by poison imbuement uh, will be further chilled uh, for 20 seconds. But you deal 45% increased damage against or poison damage against frozen enemies. This also applies to the bosses. So uh, those are the skills, guys, and the gear stats. Now, what I am going to do is I'm just going to go through here. I think I'm just going to do a 101. Um, yeah, we could probably speed farm this on a one-on-one -on -one with all of the changes. Now, when it comes to the potions, you have a couple options here, okay? So, you could do, um, advantage for even more attack speed and lucky hit. However, Holy Bolt is back, so I am going to show it with Holy Bolt and just see how this goes. So, let's pop into the one-on-one. -on -one. If anything changes, guys, I'll come out and we'll, we'll do a different one. But the build is still incredibly powerful, um, super strong. So, let's see the new update. I really think that... This with tw Twisting Blaze because the poison spawns on enemies instead of you now, originating from you. I think that could make Twisting Blades like such a good speed farmer. I really need to test it. I really need to test it. But here we go. Build is very simple. We pop Poison Impugment. Right? Get it going. Get the attack speed, right? Pop that in. Oop. And we're just, we're just running. Build is very, very good for speed farming. And the Shadow Imbuement really just allows us to um, basically just help explode and apply more vulnerable to all the enemies. You see they're just their, their health just depletes. I really, I, I say this, but I really think, you think 20 million poison right there. I really think that uh, Twisting Blades has a spot in here, man. I'm telling, oh. I teleported right into a soul shot explosion, which I guess just instantly kills me. But with that little bug out of the way, let's go here. You would think with all the life steal it would help, but I guess not. One thing you got to get used to with this build too is just the fact of like, you know, the poison damage is going to be enough, right? Like your poison damage from puncture is just going to be crazy. Like you can see that it, it just... I probably don't even need to cast Flurry a lot. But make sure when you are casting Flurry that you're... Uh, you're doing it on the third cast to get the that bonus. And you see they just all die. I'm still having... I'm still trying to get used to like... Uh, you know, when their poison takes all their health away or bleed takes all their health away, etc. It, uh, it really... It really is just still throws me for a loop sometimes. Now, Flurry, you do want to use to apply the Poison Imbuement to get those explosions. But otherwise, even on a one-on-one, -on -one, I could probably just Puncture and just keep moving. I'm not going to grab Shrines again. I don't like to do that for the videos just so you guys can see the kind of the potential of the build. But we're farming pretty quickly here. I mean, you can see Puncture is just... And then they just die, right? Like, they just die. <laughs> they just die. I don't even have to... Yeah, they just blow up. Which is just great. Uh, once you get the playstyle down, though, like it's pretty, it's really nice. If I didn't have that one death, it'd probably be a little bit better. But for one on ones, man, you could probably speed farm this a lot higher. If I'm being honest, but one on ones is a sweet spot. 
So again, let's go in here. Let's go hit the boss. You guys are going to see the insane damage here. Make sure you cast your Caltrops to scale the damage. But here we go. Drop. Right, drop. Scale the damage. Get our attack speed. Once he gets staggered, the health just drops. The health just instantly drops. It's so nuts. I think I've gotten up to almost 600 million damage on this build as is in its current state. Now let's, la very last thing in the build, let's go over the Paragon board and just the small changes that I did make because it's one, it's like six points, but uh, it is necessary. So in the Paragon board, the Paragon board stayed the exact same from the previous video. We are still running Ambush for more damage, Bane for more damage for, with Poison, Candy for more damage for non-fizz, Chip for more damage, Control for more damage, as well as Tracker for more damage. However, this is these two boards is where we made our change in points. So normally we came up here, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. We take these points here for the extra life, okay, which is very nice. However, we're still able to get all of our nodes here, our, our legendary nodes here, or excuse me, our rare nodes. So we still hit all these, right? But the, the changes that we made was we came up and we took Deadly Ambush. This currently is not just critical strike damage you take the critical strike away and it's increased damage to enemies affected by trap skills and this is everything so this is currently bugged and this is the only reason that we have this so it's going to be in pretty much every rogue build now uh, until it gets fixed however if that was to get fixed tomorrow then you're just going to take the six points out all the way to here one two three four five six and you're just going to put them back into these six points here four five six and that's the only change guys so yeah, Andy's very, very fun speed farms. Not as good as Dust Devils, but it's still very, very fun. I'm really digging the build and having an absolute blast with it. So I'm glad this is back. However, I will test and see if Twisting Blades would be better, but I'm not sure. Just running around hitting, hitting people with Puncture was pretty, pretty easy, right? So yeah, but anyway, guys, like the video, comment down below. What do you, let me know what you guys think of the updated build. Comment below, it's awesome. Again, big shout out to all the other rogue players in the meta. Woody, Azario, two big dubs there, guys. Big shout out to you guys. Uh, and yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.